Alrighty guys, welcome to today's video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you all how to change a deck belt on this here 42 inch Craftsman deck. Now on these Craftsman decks there's two types of them. This mower it came off of is from 1997, so it's what they call the old type. It uses a rod system to engage the blades. And when you're trying to find the right deck belt for one of these, you need to know if it is if it has a rod going to it or if it has a cable which would be going through right here and to the pulley and the pulleys would not be offset if yours was a cable this pulley would be way back here and this one would be way out there so these were probably the most simplest mowers to work on um, you can also tell this is old by the little curly Q brake springs on it and they work like this deck's getting wore out. But today what we're going to do is uh, put this deck belt on. The AYP part number is 144200 and it is a half by 80 something inches long. Um, this is not a how-to video. This is not DIY. This is a training video for those wanting to get an outdoor power to learn how to do this kind of stuff. As you see, it's not glamorous. One bit I'm um, covered with grease, but uh, we're going to get started. First things first is to remove the old deck belt, and you got to pull these bands back, and then it just slips off. You got to sometimes you have to take this bottom rod out, which is pull this little tiny pin. That thunder I hope is not close to me, and you don't have to take it all the way off. You got a little guide right here. Yes, I'm getting in the frame. I'm trying not to show my head. Pull this back. Then you're going to get the belt off. Oh, that's not good. Is that stuck? No. Okay, now that's open. That hurt. Then you're going to get the belt off from back here. Um, I need an extension to get on there. Yes. Nope. Yeah, I would. So I'm going to try to get this off without taking this guard off. Got it. That's how you do it. Here's the old belt. As you see, it is hatted. It is stretched and shredded. And the lady said it was throwing the belt off every time she engaged it. So now we're going to route the new belt. When you get these belts, sometimes they will be twisted. This is the flat side. All right, that's flat. And inside, as you can see, is a V groove. See the difference? That's a V groove. That's a flat side. And if you look at these pulleys. For instance, this one right here is completely wore out. That one doesn't sound good. I might have to replace them, but for now I'm just getting the deck belt on. But that's a flat idler. That's a flat idler. These are both flat idlers. But if you look at the spindle pulley right there, you see right here this groove inside here? That is a V groove. That's the difference. I'm trying to adjust this camera. See right there? That is a V groove. Kind of see it right there. That's a V, and then pulleys there are flat, so you can see the difference. All right, enough mumbo jumbo. Let's get this belt on. This deck took me all of five minutes to take off, and I got to do more stuff under the deck, under the mower, to get it fixed. So what we're going to do is remove this under here. I can go ahead and reclip this now. And there's a common mistake people do. You just put that little pin, it's not hard at all. Put that little pin in there, make sure it's in there, it's not in there right away. It is now. Alright, that rock goes like that. So we're going to route the belt, putting the V groove in. You see there how it kind of wanted to twist on me? I'm not going to let it twist. This belt twisted on me. Right now that it's untwisted, hopefully. Yeah. We're going to route it through here, this little belt guide clip. This one right here, we're going to pull it. That's disengaged, that's where it should be. And uh, I see why it's throwing the belt off now. There's a little stopper that is made onto this bottom plate that is gone because this is not supposed to go out this far. But this is an old mower, you got to keep that in mind. Now I got to get this belt in around here. 
All right, so I'm in front of the deck now. You can see me. Scary, I know. I'm getting this, this nut just like that. You're not going to tear the belt up. These belts don't tear up that easily. I'm going to pull this brake off. I'm going to have it engaged for the time being. I'm going to pull this hand off. It's in between the band. I had to do that off camera. I'm going to disengage it so I don't get all mixed up. And now you just wrap the belt and clip it through this guide. And voila. Alright, that's how it's supposed to go. When you engage it, it pulls it back and tightens it. Now, this is not supposed to go this far. Alright, there used to be a stopper right about where my wrench is behind this pulley. I'm going to engage it. This pulley is supposed to disengage to about right here. So you engage it like that. Alright, and it's whirring and cutting and everything. And when you disengage, and I'm also going to grease this, it's supposed to go off to close these bands right about there. It's all where it's supposed to go. And there's a stopper there. If you disengage it, and that stopper is gone, it's going to shred the belt and throw it off because it's touching this arm right here. So that is common on these old, older style decks that that will happen. And a lot of times these rollers under here wear out. Um, they're non-replaceable. You have to replace the whole band. Also check the bands right here. These look fairly new, but I see where it's been getting cut in with the uh, where the spindle pulley has been cutting in. You can see that that band right there is about eight through. You zoom into that there. See that band right there is about eight through because I'm going to check the spindle bearings. I have a feeling why. I'm going to go ahead and engage it. Spindle bearings wore out. All right, I'm going to shut up for a second and listen. Hear that? The spindle bearing is about to go and that's causing the pulley to wibble wobble when it's spinning very fast and causing it to cut into that brake band. Not good. But anyways, stick around and uh, see you all in the next video.